your reaction when the news broke? Um, awful, awful. Not because nobody was going to switch from Hillary to Trump, mm -hmm. but I knew that this would depress the Hillary vote. That not not all the vote, but even if it depressed 10 percent of it, depressed meaning people are still going to vote for Hillary, but they're not going to be as excited as they need to be this week. They're not going to work for her. They're not going to make calls. And they're not going to take five people to the polls with them on election day. They're just going to show up and vote for her. That's not enough. Everybody's got to do a lot more than that in these next five days if we're going to pull this off. Everybody's got to have their A game going. People need to take off work if they can on Monday and Tuesday. Not go to school. You sign up online. There's all these places where you can, um, Democracy for America, move on, whatever. You can sign up and make calls to swing states from your own phone. You don't need to go there. If you can go there, go there. If you live near a swing state, go there this weekend. Don't, don't let it be said a few weeks from now, when, after it's gone the wrong way, geez, I wish I would have done something. Yeah, well, it's, it'll, it's too late then. I, you know, I saw something, um, and it, when I saw it, it caught my attention. And I didn't think anything of it until two days later. And this was two days before the Comey announcement. This was Fox News Wednesday morning. This is Rudy Giuliani. Watch this. Mm. And I think he's got a surprise or two that you're going to hear about in the next two days. Right. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm talking about some... Pretty big surprise. Oh, yeah, I heard you say that this morning. What do you mean? You'll see. Stay tuned. Rudy Giuliani, we got, you're lucky because we got to go. I'm out of time. Otherwise, I keep pressing you. We're not going to, we're not, we're not going to, we're, we're not going to go down and we're certainly not going to stop fighting. We've got a couple things up for us to leave that should turn this around. In a way that, that even, even, even the liberal pollsters will get to see it. So that was from two days before the letter. Wow. Do you think that he could have known about in advance through his extensive? Well, Sounds like he knew something, you know. I mean, this man is a former federal prosecutor, mm -hmm. worked for the Justice Department. That if somebody slipped him some information there, I mean, that is that is amazing. And see, the thing is with the Democrats, after uh, Comey exonerated her in the summer, everybody said, "Oh, he's the greatest FBI director ever," and it's like, no, no, I wouldn't go so fast on that because he also was involved in other investigations of Bill Clinton, of the, you know, this is this he isn't new to this Clinton game. And, and I think somebody should be raising questions about him and why this happened and why he did it on Friday night. And it's got everybody in this sort of tornado of about the emails, the emails. What about the emails, really? I mean, truly, really. This is we have huge issues facing the country. If you're going to if you're going to put a sociopath in the White House because, oh, you didn't like how she did her emails. This is something seriously wrong. I have to say that I had a former U.S. attorney on my show the other night. I think it was two nights ago, maybe three nights ago. He said that he believes that James Comey uh, is releasing this letter in releasing this letter. He is influenced. He was influenced by Rudy Giuliani, who was his former boss, and that he may have been influenced by the criticism of Rudy Giuliani and other Republicans. Do you think that in some way he may be covering as you know what? I have to tell you, I had not seen that Giuliani piece before. I don't know if anybody's run it. Has anybody run it on CNN? I, I'm sure. I, I, I know about this show. I know, I'm not sure if it is run on the well, network. I have not seen it on the network. Who's ever watching the show right now, you just, you just introduced something that needs to be investigated. Somebody has to answer for what we just saw that you just showed us, the American people, because that was frightening. Yeah. That Giuliani, with in all of his craziness, he looked like so self-assured that he knew this was going to happen. I, yeah, people ask me, you know, they'll come into my office or, or into my home and they'll say, why are you watching Fox News? I watch Fox News, I watch MSNBC, I watch CNN, I watch ABC, NBC, C. I watch everything because, you know, I want to know, I watch Bloomberg. Uh, and it's because, you know, most people will get their news from just one source. And I think right. that, that limits you. And so right. I saw that. I happened to see that when it aired live. And then I thought about it, you know. I've never understood why liberals don't watch Fox News yeah. because you should always know what the opposition is up to. So, listen, given.